Hey everyone, my name is Monroe Mann with Break Diving, and we are going on another virtual vacation today. It's flight. Today's December 15th, flight 1215 direct to Zurich, Switzerland. And Carlos in Brazil is very, very excited. I see Vivian smiling. So is is it Karen or Karen? Karen? Oh, you're muted. Just remember, you always have to remember to unmute yourself. It's okay. We, Sorry. We, how do you say your name? Keren. Ke Keren. Because I'm Egyptian. I don't know if you can say it, but you can say Karen. It's okay. I, that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do for at least for today. Uh, so <laughs> forgive me. Uh, we have Re uh, Karen in Saudi Arabia, originally from Egypt. Vivian is in uh, Uganda. Gay Marie is in the Philippines, Shemaine in Zimbabwe, Ria is in India, Babia, Jersey, and I am in New York. And we are all on the exact same flight right now to Zurich. So I'm going to share my screen. And first thing is we're going to start the Swiss music. <laughs> so let's get this. Okay. So this is a typical view of Switzerland. Really, really beautiful. Uh, let's start with the Zurich. Uh, by the way, can you still hear me over the music? Yes. Yeah. Let me try to make it a little softer. Oh, OK. So here is Switzerland. And you can see it's in Europe. And it's right in the center. It's landlocked. And what I told you earlier is that Switzerland has four languages. And if you, it's, it's, this is a terrible map. It doesn't really show you the borders very well at all, but you can see it here, that this, this, was, this blue line. And over here is France. So in this part of Switzerland, they all speak French. Here's Germany in this part of Switzerland. Zurich is part of it, they speak German. Over here, they speak Romanche. And, uh, excuse me, over like here. And then down here towards Italy, uh, I used to live here in this city here, Lugano, for two years, went to college there, uh, and uh, everybody speaks Italian there. So it's a very interesting country. And today we're gonna be going in here to Zurich. And- Moro, have you been there? I've been to Zurich. I've been to Zurich, I think twice, uh, or maybe three times. I've been to winter tour twice. And I'm just thinking of other cities. I, I've been all around Switzerland. I mean, I've been here, I've been to in the French section, which is down here. I've been to Geneva. Uh, this is Lake Geneva. Uh, you notice Lyon, France is right here. So Lyon is very close to Geneva. Uh, and Lausanne, I've been to Lausanne as well. There's a city Montreux around here. So let me find out, see where Montreux is right here. This is where I learned to drive a stick shift. Do you know a manual transmission? My mom taught me, I was 19 years old, I think. And uh, it was pretty exciting. Uh, we used the rental car and learned how to do that. And you can see this is Milan, Italy right here. And oh, this is a better map. You can see Switzerland a lot more easily. It's very close. Lake Como is right here. Uh, you know, like George Clooney and all those people have the, their fancy villas here in Lake Como. It's very close. Lugano is right there. Boom. Lake Como, Lugano. So it's very strange because each of these different sections takes the culture of that area. So down here in Lugano, because it's influenced by Italy and it's they speak Italian, they, they dress more Italian, the food is Italian culture is Italian, whereas up in, in Zurich, uh, over here, because they're up near, if you look up here, near Germany, whoop, I think this is Germany up here. Yeah, this is all Germany up here. So that being said, let's go in and see, let's go down to street view, which is the fun part. Uh, so we all decide together where we're going to start. So 
we can start here at this is Zurich. This is this is all Zurich here. Do we want to start maybe up here at the river and walk up the river? Do we want to start at this Grossmünster, this church, and walk around the lake? Do we want to start at the museum? Anyone have a vote? Yeah, I go with like start from that church and walk around the lake. Okay. So let's click here. And what we need to do is find our little man here. Thanks to Ili uh, to Selena who taught us how to do that. And hey, we just landed in Zurich. Hooray. <laughs> Let me turn down the music a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Monro, does it mean English is not a major language in Switzerland? I mean, when I was there in, in, I mean, I went to college there in 1997 to 1999, and most of the people did not speak English. I had to, I had to use Italian to to talk to people. English has wow. become far. I mean, literally, the internet was kind of just getting started in 1997. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I just had my email, the first, like one of the first email addresses in the world, like around 1995. 1994, like when I was just getting out of high school. So I know that since then, I mean, it's been 20 years. So mm -hmm. I'm sure English is very taught in schools now. I mean, mm -hmm. look at the fact that all of these people here, Carlos speaks it, Karen speaks it, Gay speaks English. So we all speak English now, all, not everybody, but I think it's more prevalent. And so I think if you went to Switzerland, you could certainly vacation there without a problem with English. But uh, if you could learn the basics of a little bit of Italian, a little bit of German, a little bit of French, it would make each of those sections a lot easier for you to, to manage. Okay. So it's very easy. I'm what sorry. What would happen in school? Would they teach in one of the local languages, not English? I think, I, from what I believe, I think you learn almost, I think you learn all of the languages in Switzerland. Like you start okay. when you're a child learning, like if, you, if you're if you in Zurich, you'll start with Swiss German. And then when you get to elementary school, you pick another one, say French, then you get to middle school, then, you, then you're studying the other one, so uh, Italian. And then I think maybe throughout the whole time, you're also learning English. So there, it's a very language intensive country. However, that's not to say that they all speak all four languages perfectly. It's, it's not the case. It's like, I think in any country, I don't think there's a, a perfect language instructional system. So, what are their national languages? Uh -huh. and Carlos so, first and then Babia? Yeah, yeah, Moro, I heard that uh, even citizens in the Switzerland have to have to learn at least three or four languages because a multicultural language. So uh, many, many of them speak English, speak, speak French and speak German too. Well, well, think about this. If you, if it, it, the country's so small that you could travel 40, 35, 40 minutes or an hour and you could be in one of the other sections potentially. And you can't necessarily rely on English. You can't, you hope you can. But I mean, if you actually want to converse with people, you should know the basics of all of those, of those languages. That being said, did I survive okay? Uh, with, with just knowing the, the tiniest, my Italian got pretty good. My French, I spoke already because I went to uh, high school there, but uh, and not there. I went to high school and I, I studied French in high school. But when I went to Zurich and this and that, uh, I didn't speak it completely well and I did okay. But also I had friends from my school who, who came up with me who were from Switzerland, uh, who were able to translate uh, as well. So I want to find out, can someone do a Google search and find out what the name of this lake is? Is it called Lake Zurich? I think that's the name of this lake, but I, I don't know. And so we'll start going. And by the way, for those of you who just joined us, you guys can tell us, I'm just the guy who's pressing the button, the bus driver. You guys can tell me where you want to go. So if, if you decide you want to stop and see something, uh, if you want to look at the menu at a restaurant or zoom in on something we can zoom in and and see and we can look at people and oh tommy just joined us awesome <clears throat> so uh 
Gay, what's the first thing that you noticed here as we're going through looking at the looking at the buildings and the architecture and things? What's that? <laughs> what's what? Sport. <laughs> Notice the sport. What's this sport building? Which which is a sport? Oh, here. Let's. I don't know. Yeah. That, I don't know why it says it's a it's an eye shop. This is Bachtol Sport. All right, so Gay, if you're gonna go in there, what are you gonna go buy? What kind of sports equipment for your trip to Zurich? Basketball ball. A basketball. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's try to go back this way. We want to stay near the lake, I think, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to see if I can find the lake again. I'm already lost. Your tour guide has already lost us. <laughs> Anybody knows where the lake is, you let me know. Wait, here's the map down here. Um, it's right there. Why can we not see it? <laughs> That's the strangest thing, isn't it? Where did it? All right. Let's try, let's try to go down here and see if we can find the lake again. There it is. Okay. So how, there we go. Can we do boating here? <laughs> you know, that's a, <laughs> last time we were able to get on the boat when we, when we were in, when we did the trip to France, we actually got on a boat. So all the, the, the key is you have to try to find the, no, we don't need to find a boat. We just need to find a way to get onto the lake, but it, it, it's, it, it's potentially difficult because I don't know where they would have, started the the boat tour <clears throat> all right so uh, gay we're gonna try to find mcdonald's for you because we know that's your favorite restaurant ever and <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, karen have you been to europe before Did we lose Karen? Is Karen here? Oh, I think we may have, I don't know what happened to our friend Karen. And and Bibian, we lost Bibian. Hey, Tommy. I'm here. Oh, there's Bibian. Yeah. Hmm. No, Karen is here. She's just muted. So is Shemaine. Oh, okay. Anyway. This one is harder than the other ones. I don't know how to, these, these streets, like I keep clicking and it keeps just taking me to random streets. You know what? That's how I feel. This guy, you see how stressed he is right now? <laughs> That's how I feel trying to navigate the Google Maps on this thing. I, it, it, it keeps taking me to, maybe we should all get on these bicycles here and, and ride around the lake. It'll be a lot easier than trying to do a Google click around the lake. I can see that a uh, very clean city, but there are not very skyscrapers. Yeah. There is, a, I, I, we may not be in the business district of, of Zurich. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's probably some big um, uh, skyscrapers, which you could maybe find, but the truth is yet yeah, Switzerland is absolutely the cleanest place I've ever been to. There is no very, trash anywhere. Very clean. It's very, yeah. it's very beautiful and clean. I don't even what know is the how meaning they of do it. Go, say it again. What is the meaning of a skyscraper? Oh, uh, like a very, very tall building. Oh, okay. Like it's scraping the sky because it's so tall. Yeah, the one that James Bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. James Bond, Mission <laughs> Impossible, things like that. <laughs> So as soon as we're going by, when you see a car that you like, you let you let, let us know, and we'll we'll take a look at it. If you see a fancy car that that's interesting, or I already or so it? many. Oh, I always thought these are kind of cute. These minis. <laughs> Did somebody say something, Vivian? 
I saw a beautiful car near that guy who looked stressed. <laughs> yeah, the guy did that... look stressed out. Yeah. And I love these cities that have these trolley cars. Like that, that's a it's a trolley. Maybe if we maybe if we follow this, we'll be able to see the trolley. Let's let's go down the road here. Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. It's going faster than we're going. I'm trying to. Where's the trolley? Oh, it stopped. Look over there. It actually pulled over to the side. That's cool. It goes into the middle of the street, but then it comes over here. Do any of your countries have trolleys? United States used to have a lot of them. I think the only ones really remaining is that one in San Francisco. I get, oh, and these guys are waiting for the trolley right here because it's going to come up on these tracks right there. So that's cool. Uh, so we're going to have a German lesson while we're doing this too and learn how to pronounce some things in German. So you see the name of this street? Who wants to, who wants to, everyone gets to give a try. Who wants to guess how it's pronounced? Go ahead. Selvestratzitz. Good, good. Gay, what's your guess? What's the, I don't know. <laughs> Do you see this? Is right that here? safe? Seafield Okay, good. Anyone else? Seafield <laughs> Good. Anyone else? Seafield Hey, Rhea got it the best out of everyone because she pronounced it at the end. It was the Asa. Seafield Wow. <laughs> Great job. So we're on Seafield Strasse. Seafield Strasse right now. Okay. And when we get to another street, we'll we'll uh, we'll try that again. Oh, wait, there was a restaurant. Wait, let's go back. How do we go back? Do we have to actually, t I wish there were a back button. Like if you came back here or maybe we can just turn around. Oh, look at that. If we press this button, it rotates us. Cool. Okay, so let's go to a restaurant here on this. Uh, which, which restaurant do we wanna, wait, can we go into this one? Let's try this one. Does this one look like a good place to stop for a snack? What's on their menu? Let's, let's yeah. see. It's like more on cakes. Does it have the menu? Good sandwiches, salads, and sweets. Uh-uh. If there is cake, I'm going to buy I don't want, one. I don't, want a, I don't want a salad or a sweet. I, I, I don't know. Sandwiches, those sandwiches, maybe those are good. I don't know. That just looks like cake. We need something else, right? <laughs> yeah, I love sweets. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Me too. Gay doesn't care. Gay wants, he goes, that doesn't matter. Let's have sweets. Yes. Okay, let's, find, let's see if we can find another one. Uh, another restaurant. I'm There's Brazilian. nobody on the streets at all. I wonder if this was recently done, like during COVID time or whatnot, but it's very deserted. I'm observing that it's not cold, it's not so freeze, but it's, the sky is not clean. I think it's going to rain. I don't know. It, it's, it looks Look like it's a blue sky underneath the clouds, doesn't it? Oh, okay. It's not so shiny like here. <clears throat> Let's see. Cloud here. Regis. So this is the church. Where is the church? You saw the church? No, this one, the big building. Which one? With the pointed, <laughs> that one. I don't see it. Do you guys see the church she's talking about? No, mm, something with a pointed. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's not. We'll, we'll just go forward here for a few more and then yeah. we'll, uh, we'll we'll see if we can find the business district. That lake name is Lake Promenade. Lake Promenade? Lake Promenade? Yeah. Promenade, mostly, yeah. It's know. not Lake Zurich? No. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, there's Carlos's car. His Ferrari.
What is this? The quality of life that the Zurich is very high. I think it's uh, one of high than the old countries. I, I think the quality of life, I think, I think Gay mentioned it, like the standard of living. I don't know if the standard of living, but like the, yeah, the quality of life anywhere, I think in Switzerland is very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what time is it there? Right now it's around 5 p.m. I think. So here, let's let's zoom out again, uh, and let's see if we can find the where's Zurich? There it is. Let's see if we can find if there's like if there's a business district. Uh, Moreau, district Go ahead. How do you feel about the expenses? About the you is a very expensive city expensive city i think the entire country of switzerland is expensive very 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 expensive and I, oslo norway i think might be more expensive but switzerland is an expensive place absolutely we can maybe look at one of these menus and try to see what the prices are uh where where would the business district be there's the in the, in i think the, ria wants to say something who does Ria. Ria, speak up. What's up? I was saying, can we go to that opera house? Yes. So I've got to drag the, the little man. One second. Oh, OK. So we should be up near the opera house now. Let's see. Is this the opera house? Where is it? Maybe that's it. it. Oh, well, we're, well, we're going. We're going anyway. Let's see if we can find it. Let, what, what did it look like? Uh, let me, let, let's, let's go back to the on, map, stock, Google. Let's look and see what the picture is. That's Switzerland music playing in the background. Say it again. Is that Switzerland music playing in the background? Yeah, is that, you say, is that Swiss music? Yes, it's Swiss music playing in the background, traditional Swiss music. That's right. So uh, look at the picture there. It, it, it's rectangular with two little things like in the top. So let's look for maybe, wait, is there a picture of it? If we. That's just the outside of it. All right, we kind of have an idea what it looks like. Let's see if we can find it now. Is it this building then? That may be it. Let's go forward. <laughs> As we always do, we go against traffic during break diving Vacations, make sure you don't get hit by a car. I have no idea where this opera house is. Is this it? No. Wait, this may be it. Look at that over here. Let's see if we can go up here and find a sign. As always, we have people looking at us very, very suspicious of brake divers on their vacations, but we just ignore them. Uh, and I think, is this our op? There, yeah, there's the upper house. There's that thing up there. And so I think Moro. this Yeah. I wanted the second change about the name of the street. Oh, okay, try, go ahead. Let's see. This time I win. Oh my gosh. Try it. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. Let's see it again. Can you see it? Crystal Truss. Well, remember, at the the e at the end is always pronounced as uh. Let's trust say. Not like an a, like an uh. 
Yeah, I think it's yeah. it's Schillerstrasse. Ria, yeah, I can I hear it. I can hear you. But, you know, we can actually go just just to get the actual uh, official translate uh, pronunciation because I speak a little bit, but I'm not perfect. Moro, you decide who was the better. Ready? You Listen. You decide. You won. You win. Me, Ria, and others. I'll, I'll give it to you, Carlos. You did a great job. Chili trusses. <laughs> Ria, Chilis. I want to hear you this time. Okay, it's kind Chilis of Schiller Stasso. Tomo, which one the best? Well, I think Ria did a really great job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. But Carlos, you can try again. Try again. Let me hear. Schiller uh, Stasso. Now it's a tie. I think you both did it excellently. Who else wants to try to pronounce it? No one else? Why are there all these motor homes here? That's very weird, isn't it? Right next to the op in the in the parking house. This is Park House Opera, like the opera parking garage. And they have motor homes. What the heck is this? How strange. Let's go to the opera. Oh, there it is, yep. Let's go to the opera and park our, our motor homes. Zoom onto that statue we have, yes, here. Which statue? I think that, upper, uh, that is up on the building. The naked one? No, no, <laughs> on the building, on the building. Which one? On the building, on the top of the building. Yes, yeah, center, center one, the center one. What about it? Do you like it? Yes. Very beautiful building. That one. Yeah, that is a nice one. That's so that now. So we now we've seen we've seen one tourist attraction. We've seen the Zurich Opera House. So next, let's. Who wants to pick the next thing that we go to? Let's look at the map. The museum. Let's go to the museum, Reitberg. Yes, or the FIFA World Football Museum. <laughs> <laughs> anyone have a choice? Anyone have anyone have one that they really okay. like? Migros supermarket. I remember Migros. I always used to go to Migros to sh shop when I lived in Switzerland. It's nice to see that name again. All right, let's go to the Museum Reitberg. We'll see what we can find there. Good? Good. <laughs> so Karen, can you tell us what you think about uh, Switzerland so far? It it's so beautiful. Have you, have you been there? No, but I, I like, I like what I see. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. What a, a look, they, they must have taken these on a different day because it's, it's <laughs> nice blue sky and there are people out here in their shorts on the grass. This looks very nice. Doesn't this scene just make you feel very happy? Yeah. I'm it's just really looking beautiful. at that and going, oh. Yeah. That's beautiful sky color. Life is good. <laughs> no hurries. Oh, look. There are the Swiss mountains. So this it's must be, that this is the same lake that we were just on. So I, I think where we were at the opera house is somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. Or 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 up here somewhere. Interesting. Oh, I want to get on that bicycle and go down this path. Let's see. Can, will it let us actually go anywhere? 
Why is it it won't let me go on the street view anywhere? Oh, Moreau, I think you are in the bicycle. <laughs> Might be. Might be. <laughs> My head is cut off. Uh, so it's not letting me actually travel. So we need to find, how do we get out of the park? Uh, let me see. Let's try to put this on a different, let's go to the street here. Okay, Carlos, here's your test. Can you get this one right? How do you pronounce it? It's very, very difficult. <laughs> no, that was, no, you're supposed to pronounce the name of the street. Zistrasse. Almost, Zistrasse. Zistrasse. Uh, Gay, can you say it? Babia, can you say it? Zistrasse. Karen? Zistrasse. <laughs> awesome. All right, so you're, you're going to learn how to say, I am, I am, I speak German. So you say, ich, ich spreche Deutsch. Ich spreche Deutsch. <laughs> Good. Who wants to say it? That's German. <laughs> Like yeah, that's German. <laughs> Sprecher Deutsch is I speak German. Dutch. Oh, this is Move and Pick. Let's see if we can go to Move and Pick. You're going to like this place. Gay is going to really like this place. Uh, yeah, let's absolutely. See. Is that? All right. So let's see if. <clears throat> Does it have uh, the menu here? So. I, I I believe oh is move and pick also a, a hotel? When in Lugano, move and pick was an ice cream shop. Maybe it was never called, maybe move and pick was never the name of the ice cream shop. It was just an ice cream shop in the move and pick hotel. <laughs> that could be it. Interesting. Okay. This is a this is very blurry. Why is it blurry? There we go. So these cable cars go throughout the whole city. Look at that. It's still here. I think it's a very quality of public transport. Yeah, I, I personally, I love public transportation. Uh, I don't like buses so much, but I love trolley cars and subway systems and regular trains. That's why I love Europe so much because you can go anywhere you want in Europe by train. Yeah, anywhere. I can see I can see there are no traffic here. There are just a few cars. I think because of the quality of public transport. It could be. I don't know. Or maybe because of COVID, everyone's at home. I don't know, that could be it too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It won't let me go down the hill anymore. So we're going to go back up the hill. And let's see if we can find something else. By the way, we're today we'll probably go for uh, till 1115. So for another 15 minutes. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll see maybe two more different sites here in, in Zurich. Um, I, I can't, looking at that guy sitting at the uh, going back at the bus like I, I wish I were this guy right there, just sitting there waiting for the trolley to come. That's nice. Oh, we got a good view of the trolley here. We call it trolley or tram? You know, it's, it means it's, a, it's like the difference between metro and subway. They're the same mm -hmm. thing. I think it depends on, on what they decide to call it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they actually call it. In, in, let's, you know what? Wait, let's find out. Okay, so Jeanette, it's been 40 minutes. By the way, let me tell you something. There's a difference between German and Swiss German. Uh, let me just put trolley and let's see what it says in uh, German. Oh, trolley. 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 
I don't know if they have Swiss German here. Let me see. So they, they don't have it listed here, but Swiss German is different, but it may not be as, maybe it's not as different. Oh, here you can also have um, Strassenbahn. 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 So Strassen means street and Bahn means tr like train. So it's street train, Strassenbahn. So I heard it as a tram. Maybe it's in the UK, they say call it tram. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it might be. I mean, I could, I've seen, even in the United States, like if they have it, sometimes they'll call it a tram, sometimes they call it a trolley. I think both of them are valid. They mean the same thing. As far as I know, maybe there is a difference, but. Uh, <clears throat> so who, all right, which one of you moved into this home right here? I'd like to know, because here's this Avis moving van. So please tell me which one of it, who has this house right here? Don't be shy. This house, well. Looks like yours? Carlos. Carlos, is this yours? I think it is my house is the next, the black, the the white ones. Oh, this is Carlos's house. Yeah, I think oh. more before. Did did they 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 so they oh that's why they pulled up on the curb because they realized they missed your home. And so they're they're gonna back up and help. Let's see if we can see. Can we if we go forward here? Can we see uh, Carlos's home? Or. It's it's very it's very strange. Sometimes it like it stops and then I can't go any further. Can I go? Where the heck did we just go? We just went through Carlos's house. <laughs> we literally went through his house. I don't oh, know where we are at the moment. What just happened? I will invite you to drink that coffee or a tea here. I don't know. I think I've been drinking that too much of the beer that Gay had, and <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll go down we'll go down this way and see if we can. Maybe we just came back. Maybe this is the same road, or no? Have you heard about the cachaça? What's cachaça? It's traditional drinking here. You are you drinking all the time, <clears throat> the, but the you feel a little drunk. My, my, my favorite traditional Brazilian drink is Guarana soda. Yeah, Guarana soda. It's very Guarana delicious. Guarana soda. That's it's very delicious. delicious. Hey, by the way, Carlos, we can't see your whole face. We can only see your eyes. Ah, there we go. Let's see. There's more construction. Were we here in this construction zone before? I don't know. I saw construction earlier. I think it's. That music sounds like Scott, a bit like Scottish music. To me, it doesn't sound like Scottish music. Uh, to me, it definitely sounds like Swiss type of music. But I, I, I guess compared to. I, if you know the difference between the two, you would know that it doesn't really sound Scottish, but I can see how maybe it sounds West, like similarly Western. Yeah. Like this, this yodeling. That's not yodeling. Scottish. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yodeling, 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 Carlos, you have a, you have oh, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, don't do that. Carlos is the official break diving yodeler. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's try. Thank to, you, Moro. Thank, thank you for breaking. <laughs> uh, let's try to go to one more part of Zurich. Uh, let's see if we can find if there's a specific downtown. So let's, let's see, downtown Zurich. I heard about the zoo of Zurich, it's very nice. Oh, I, I wonder if we could go to the to the zoo here. So where um, downtown Zurich? It has a population of three hundred and sixty thousand. Okay, or or we could it's go to Zurich's old. old town. Do you want to go to Old Town or you want to go downtown? Oh, here we go. Paradeplatz, Paradeplatz. Maybe we should go there. 
the famous Pareto Plots. All right, let's go to Pareto Plots, yes? Which part is that, Old Town? I, I, I don't know, I don't think so. I think it's more they're down to the, oh, there it is, Pareto Plots, Zurich, Switzerland. Okay. So this might be the, oh, this looks like a downtown. Yeah, def, look at this. This looks like a very, let's see if we can find a nice skyscraper or the closest to it for uh, Carlos to see and to show Gay Marie. <laughs> Tommy, how about you? Are you still here? Anyone, anyone who's here who hasn't spoken up, where the heck are we? Are we inside? Are we in a bathroom? What the heck? <laughs> this is the famous Pareto Plots is Coiffeur Valrebel in Zurich. Okay, which one of you girls took us here? I'd like to know because I know Carlos and I did not want to come to the hair salon. Rhea! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely gay. Honestly, I don't even know how, how do we even get out of here? I didn't know we could go into rest. Can we, I, this is the first time I saw that we could go inside a store. Where's the, where's the exit? This is, yes, okay, this, not. this is creepy. There's no exit. <laughs> what has Google done? They have said you're going to get your hair done all no, of you. We have to walk here only. Okay, then. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? If any of you see a door, let me know. I love it. When there's, we can go through houses and end up in different parts of the entire city, but now we're stuck inside a, maybe we can just click this and go out. Left. Oh, they have L'Oreal. All right, while we're here, I know Gay wants to look at the different things here that you can yeah. buy. Sarah Red Redken. <clears throat> to me and Carlos, we're thinking this is very boring. Hair products. <laughs> All right, wait, maybe yeah, there's a, man. gotta be a door, maybe right. Oh, that's a door. That's a door. Come on, let me out. I feel so claustrophobic right now. Please. Oh, hooray. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that feels so good to see the sky. Oh my my. All right, so do you know what? It, uh, I don't. I think it's Opatica. I don't know how to say that. And actually, let's find out. I want to find out how we say that in German. It means a uh, pharmacy. Uh, but let's find out how we say that. Um. Pharmacy, pharmaceutica. Um. Oh, I spelled it wrong. And then Apotheca. Apotheca. Who wants to say it? Yeah. Apotheca. Apotheca. Karen, can you say Apotheca? Apotheca. Wow. Carlos, let's hear your beautiful German accent. I can't compete with Karen, but you say Apotheca. Yours was actually better. I'm sorry, Karen. I have to say, Carlos said it perfectly. So Carlos wins the prize this time. Babia, can you say it? One product from L'Oreal. <laughs> Apotheca. Apotheca. Yeah. And just remember here, Ich spreche Deutsch. Ich spreche Deutsch. Oh, wait. That should be... I speak Deutsch. I speak German. So now you know. Okay, so let's go back. Where where were we walking? Oh, that's right. We were stuck here and we're right up. So this is the uh, pharmacy, St. Peter Ap Apotheca. Now we know that's how to say it. And all right, so uh Karen, since this is your first time on a break diving event, you get to tell us, do we go down this street? Do we go this way? Or do we go this way? Left, straight, or right? Um, right. All right, let's do it. 
Well, first, we, I guess we have to get into the middle of the street. It does not want us to leave this, this coiffeur plate. There we go. Okay. All right. This one's very easy. Uh, Bavia, can you say this one? Peter Strasse. Almost. Gay, how did she, what did she say that was, can you say it right? Peter Strasse. Almost. <laughs> Let's see if our expert oh, no. German speaker, Carlos, can, can get that right. Strasse. Almost. Karen, Ria, Ria, you want to try? Peter Strasse. There it is. <laughs> right? Because at the end, the E is U. Uh. So Peter's, Peter Strasse. Peter Strasse. Peter Strasse. So let's go down <laughs> Peter Strasse. What does this Strasse mean? It means street. Oh. Well, this <laughs> means St. <laughs> Peter's Street. <laughs> what the heck is this thing here? What do you think this is? It's blurry. Is it part of a bicycle? Is it a motorcycle? It's very strange. I don't know. We are riding on a bike now. It might okay. be on a bike. Or this is, maybe it's just a very narrow car. Maybe it is a motorcycle, I'm not sure. So these might be the tallest buildings in Zurich. Maybe they don't have skyscrapers. Maybe you're What right. is this blank pen? Oh, sorry. Which one? I think it had gone now. Okay, where do you want me to look, Ria? That building which had gone. Tell me which way to go, up here? Yeah, yeah, the, yes, yes, yes. This, I'm sure this is a church. Let's find out. Can we go in? I'm sure the building you want to go in, you can't go in. But the ones that we don't want to go in, like the, the, the hair salon. Oh, it's a bank. <laughs> Credit Suisse? Is it? I think it's a bank. Is, is that the same building? All right. Let's. Well, uh, we're, we can try. Uh, well, no, it's not giving us the. That's so strange because we've never been able to go into buildings before. That was the funniest thing that we ended up in a hair salon. So yeah, so it's a uh, it's a bank, Credit Credit Suisse, and it's also I guess a cafe here as well. I'm feeling like I got a Doraemon's anywhere door, so I can go with any. Wait, say it again. I said that I'm feeling like I have, I'm having a Doraemon anywhere door. I'm sorry, can someone, did someone else understand what she said? Bavia, fellow Indian, can you, can you help me understand? It's Is a it cartoon. Like, yeah, whenever it's you start cartoon. door. Ah, yeah. Doraemon is having a type of door. So we he we can go anywhere from that door. We just open it and just uh, want to assume where we want to go, and we can go there. It oh, oh, I see. You're saying this is like that? Yes, yes. Up oh, there's a there's a Swiss a Swiss woman with a crossbow. Hmm. I think we should all stop at this cafe. What do you guys think? Should we have something to eat here? Bavia, I think she's speaking, but she's not uh, making sound. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, there are a lot of people here. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm afraid there are a not a social distance here. <laughs> <laughs> and they are not even wearing masks. You know what? It, Switzerland doesn't have the virus at all. The standard of living is wow. very high. Wow. So we have, I think about, God. how many people? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
Wait, no wait. one using face mask. How many people do we have? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight people here. How much do we have? An, is there a table for eight? There's, I think we can put six. Wait, I don't think, I think, so. I think there are eight. Look, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's only six, isn't it? That's okay. We can put those three tables together and we can take these two chairs from here. Yes. So we will, we will stay here at the, at the greeter Zurich. All right. So after we're done eating, let's go for just a, a little bit farther through this town square and we shall finish up. This would be a really fun city to bicycle through. Very, a lot of fun. Did, the, did we just end the, 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 did the playlist end? Yeah. Oh, it started a new one. Okay. Oh, there, now that's a, that's a church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we let the lady, you know what? Let's not let the lady go. She's taken forever. We'll just move on ahead try to be polite and some people just stand there watching boy <laughs> all right uh Bobby, which way do we go straight left or right straight okay Whoa. okay here's a tough one Moro. who wants Moro? to try to say this one yeah carlos uh i'm glad to hear you i but i must to go now, no uh, problem. I'm I'm so happy to to see you here, you guys. I'm sorry for my English. My English is not good. I'm improving my English. Yes, and kisses at all. Yeah, like Brazilian, uh, Brazilian greeting, not shaking a hand, giving a hug, and many kisses for you guys. Thank you, thank you. How do you say that, Bezos? Bezos. Yeah. Yes, yes, beijos. Beijos. Yeah. Beijos, beijos. Carlos, it's good to see you. You're not allowed to leave, though, until we can see your whole face. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in German, to say I, I have to leave is ich muss gehen. So, ich muss gehen. And we say <laughs> to Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Gay. When can I say... Goodbye in Philippines. Uh, what's that? <laughs> what can I say in goodbye in Philippines? Paalam. Kalan. Paalam. Alan. Oh, Paalam. Uh, Paalam. <laughs> so it's very difficult, <laughs> Philippines. So I'm I'm glad to see you guys. I, I hope to see you again next if even. Absolutely, Carlos. We'll see you soon. Obrigado. Bye bye. bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye, Carlos. You're very bye. good. You you very good Portuguese. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Mm. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. What, what happened there? Okay. I guess I guess we can finish right up here. I think we're coming to the okay. lake again, right? Yes. That's a perfect That's right. place for us to stop. <laughs> I'll take another look at the mm. lake. And where is it? Why is this truck in the view? The truck is in the view of the lake. Can you hear the noise in the background of the, the, the wood chipper? No. You don't hear it? It's so loud. So I'm glad you can't hear it. Uh, let's see if we can get a nice shot of the lake. Hmm. We have to answer on a 
last we have to find a good thing to stop on hold on you know what i think this is where we started yes. it's around where we started i think so maybe this is a good place to to stop uh, and, uh, this, is, this is the best view this is the what yeah. best view yeah it's a very good view here, we'll, we'll, we'll scroll a little. Ah, uh, there's the best view of our little little swan, a little duck or swan, or whatever it is. So awesome. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, let me stop our 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 musica and stop the share. All right. So the, the, what we do before before we leave, uh, everyone can share what was their best part about going to Zurich. What's the most memorable thing that you remember about this? This trip. The salon. Oh, go ahead. Salon. Who, wants to go first? Go ahead. Who wants to go? The salon. The salon. Which part, Ria? The salon and the opera house. The opera house. Okay, very good. Gay Marie, what do you think? The salon because I did my hair thing and then. I cannot the believe house. that the hair salon is the favorite place for both. <laughs> Karen, what? Every product, every product is L'Oreal. What did you think, Karen? What was your favorite? I like this alone. I like that we entered it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love this. It's funny. So did you guys go to, you go into, oh yeah, I've been to Zurich. What was your favorite part? Oh, there's this amazing hair salon. And uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, Bibian, how about you? Well, I just love the beach side. For the part of the salon, I like the way the guys got trapped in it, <laughs> where the women were enjoying. <laughs> and the guys felt maybe they were I trapped. Go back and make my, maybe I should go back to the salon and make my hair straight. <laughs> maybe, actually, you all look very beautiful. Maybe that's why, because you went to the salon. Exactly. That, that could be it. Bobby, what was your favorite part? <clears throat> I like uh, going around the street. It looks so lively and it's uh, nice. It's like, yeah, it would be awesome to do cycle there. And yeah, all the structures, building. And less, it's not much crowded, still not much crowded. So I like all that, yeah. Awesome. And Tommy, what was your favorite part? Tommy, are you there? I think Tommy left us a little earlier. No, I see her. She's looking at me right now. Yes. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> She's Tommy, muted. hello. Tommy. He is not able to listen us, I think. Maybe. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so maybe I can hear Tommy. What is your? Wait a second. Um, what is your favorite? Typing in the chat part of the trip. <clears throat> and so I guess that's just me. So my favorite part is when we stopped at that park and all the people were just laying out on the grass. It looked very relaxing. And uh, seeing that bike path and, and seeing the bike right in front of me made me feel like that I could get on that bicycle and just ride through the nice green park and have a wonderful, wonderful time. And uh, I don't think Tommy, I don't know if she got our message. Uh, so we'll wait another th like 30 seconds for that. In the meantime, uh, where are some other places you want to visit in Switzerland now that you've been to Zurich? Are there other cities that you want to go to? Geneva. Geneva, good. So remember, Lugano was very beautiful too. Uh, that's a really, really, really nice city. Uh, a lot of people say that Lugano was their favorite city in all of Switzerland, and that's where they speak Italian. So, I went to, yeah. What's that? Oh, go ahead. Uh, oh. You know, before Carlos and everybody left, we should have done the, the photo. Yeah. That's okay. 
Um, can everybody turn on their, their, their camera for just one second? I'm just gonna take a, uh, a photo of us all so we can post that on our community. I had my beer. Oh my God, beer. Oh, Tommy's coming back. Maybe Tommy can put on our camera for a second. Uh, Karen, did you have a fun time? Yes. And I actually want to apologize if you called my name one time and I didn't answer because, like, um, I had some difficulty with the computer. No problem. But we, we, we've, we've learned after doing these online things for over a, uh, about a year and a half now that everybody has difficulties on. <clears throat> so, so far, all it's all good. Uh, great, great to see you smile. It looks like you had a good time, which is wonderful. Uh, everybody, yes, smile and wave. Awesome. Let me copy that and file save. One second. Save as. And this is Zurich virtual vacation. Okay. Beautiful. Awesome, yes. guys. Maria, do you want to say something? Yes, I want to ask Gay, did you, uh, did you trim your hair? Your hair was yes. long, I think. Yes, ah. I did. <laughs> oh, that's but looking it, it used cute. to be longer? <laughs> no, I regret it. <laughs> uh, it looks great. It looks great, yes. And what do you mean you regret it? You had this done at the most amazing hair salon in Zurich. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and yes, I have my hair long and wavy and yes, it's not like, oh. <laughs> it, it looks really good. I, I, I would say when people ask you where you got your hair done, tell them you got it in Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, awesome. So uh, let's everybody wave goodbye. I'm going to stop the recording in a second. So everyone say Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen.